this is the beauty of being, I, I believe, a designer, is that you put yourself in a place where you don't know a whole lot, but where you have to take in a lot. And when we went to Costa Rica, we walked into this place, this forest, and I thought it was just the jungle. I just thought, you know, there were monkeys and there was a forest. And that was actually somebody's um, land. That was somebody's farm. But the way they cultivate um, the cacao is really interesting. They mix in all kinds of other cultures in the middle. So it basically looks like a forest, but you have palm, uh, trees where they har harvest hearts of palm, you have banana trees, you have different types of cocoa trees all mixed in and you're walk walking in this forest which is this farm which is essentially in the middle of the forest without any fencing around, without any protection. The plants work with each other and protect each other from disease for example and seeing that real time is a real education for somebody who lives in New York or San Francisco. Before I went there, I did some research and thought about chocolate. And actually my ideas were probably completely wrong for the project before I went there. I thought, well, let's take some of the best cacao in the world and make great chocolate. But it's, um, it's a whole different process to make chocolate. So instead, I got interested in, in really sort of the, the original indigenous way that the cacao is used there. Chocolate is used at times of birth or uh, when a woman is pregnant or um, is used for weddings and special ceremonies. Um, and it's essentially just um, ground by hand and sort of shared amongst the people there. So it's a very, very simple process and I want to keep it very, very simple as well. The women harvest the cacao and, uh, and grind it and then fairly quickly turn it into this, this, this uh, raw patty. And these are uh, made by hand. Then, um, you know, what I was thinking about is how do you take that, rather than try to modify that, there's a raw element to it that I really like. So we thought about the packaging and we were very influenced simply by visiting a factory that roasted the beans and exported them to Switzerland. And they were using these jute bags. So we were very influenced simply by the graphics uh, on the jute bags and um, sort of kept you know the colors and the material authentic. This is almost like getting you know I think for for a person out here it's almost got like getting a little a little piece of you know Costa Rica in a in a in a in a traditional bag. The grating tool it's a simple object it has the grating portion up top and then a sustainable cultivated wood piece at the end the chocolate accumulates inside the tube here and when there is enough chocolate inside the tube it gets poured into the cup and stirred uh, with the same tool and then this can be left on the side of the uh, cup. I believe there are ways that design can bring sustainable solutions to places even in the rainforest. I feel like simply we can make a difference. As designers we can make a difference on a big scale and on a small scale.